The American flag has 13 stripes and 50 stars. You know how I know that? Because Pocket Ronnie helped me with my numbers. Okay, now we're going to be simplifying fractions by factoring. Alright, so here we're on 2A10 and we have this fraction. Just know you, you can't cancel all these things unless you're multiplying. This is not multiplied to this. These two terms are connected together by the subtraction sign. When two terms are connected together by an addition or a subtraction sign, you have to factor out first. Once you factor out, then you're going to be, things will be multiplied together. Factoring is the opposite of multiplying, which is, means you're dividing something out. We are going to be dividing something out of these two terms. So, first you look at the numbers. This one's a 2, there's a 1 right there, a 1 coefficient. I cannot factor or divide anything out of both of those. Then I look at the x squares. x squared x. What is the most I can pull out? The most you can pull out is the lowest exponent. This one has an exponent of 1, this one has an exponent of 2. So the most that I can divide out, I can divide out an x from here and an x from here. I cannot divide out an x squared. This one does not have an x squared, so I can't divide out an x squared from that. Now looking at your y's, the most y's you can pull out is a y here, and you can pull out a y from there. So the most that I can pull out of each of these terms in the numerator is an x and a y. So if I factor out an x and a y, so from here, then what do I have left? So you use your parentheses. I'm, pulling, I'm dividing out an x and a y from this term. So I still have my 2 left. Then if I pulled out at least 1x, I still have 1x left. And then I'm pulling out a y, so I don't have any y's left. Okay, then I have my subtraction sign. If I divided out an x and y, I don't have any x's left, but I would have one y. When you do this, you should be able to go back and distribute this and get this same thing. So if I distributed xy to 2x, I would get 2x squared y, which is this. Then Positive times a negative gives me the negative. XY times Y gives me an XY squared and I get this. So when you go back to distribute, you should get what the original problem is. All over XY. Now this XY is being multiplied to this parentheses. Now I can cancel because this means X times Y times this parentheses. This is X times Y. Now my x's will cancel, now my y's will cancel, and so the only thing that I have left is 2x minus y. That's simplifying by factoring. Okay, let's look at 2b7. So I want to look at what can I factor out of the numerator that I can cancel with the denominator. So first I look at my numbers in the numerator, 16 and 8. What's the most that I can factor out of 16 and 8? I can factor out an 8. X, now look at my x's. What's the most number of x's I can factor out? You look at the lowest exponent. I can factor out an x squared. Because I can pull an x squared out of here, there's enough. So I know I can factor out an x squared. Now look at my y's. Yes, I can factor out a y. Okay, now I'll write what I have left in parentheses. If I divide this term by 8x squared y, well, 16 divided by 8 is 2 x cubed divided by x squared would leave me 1x left. y divided by y is just 1. There's my plus sign. 8 divided by 8, 1. x squared divided by x squared, 1. y divided by y is 1. So if I divide this whole thing, 8x squared y by 8x squared y, I get 1. Do not put 0. So when you distribute this back, you should get what you started with. 8x squared y times 2x is 16x cubed y. 8x squared y times 1 is 8x squared y. Okay? So I still have my denominator, 2xy. Now I can cancel. This 2 goes into this 8 four times. This x will cancel with one of my x's there, so I usually just mark out my exponent. This y cancels with that y. So what did I have left? I had 4x. I don't have anything in the denominator, so that became a 1. I don't have to write that. 2x plus 1. You can either write that or you can distribute it out. 8x squared plus 4x. I don't remember how the book has it, but either one of these answers is acceptable.
Okay, let's go down here to 2C5. We want to look at the numerator. What can we factor out of these two terms and then see what cancels with the denominator? Okay, don't cancel when you have this addition sign. Factor out, then cancel. So, looking, just looking at the numerator, my number is 8 and 4. What's the most I can factor out? I can factor out or divide out a 4. Now my x's. The most that I can pull out of both of these is just 1x. Now look at my y's. The most that I can pull out is the lowest exponent, my cubed. I can pull out a y cubed. Now I want to write what I have left in parentheses. Basically, I'm taking this term and dividing it by 4xy cubed. So 8 divided by 4, I'll have 2 left. x squared divided by x, I should have 1x left. A y to the 4th divided by y cubed, I should have 1y left. Let me show you how that works. If I have y to the 4th divided by y cubed, when you, our bases are the same, you're dividing, you subtract your exponents. So that would be a y to the 1st left. That's how you end up with 1y left. Okay. So in this term, I'm dividing this term by 4xy cubed. Do you see it's the same thing? 4xy cubed divided by 4xy cubed. Anything divided by itself is 1, not 0. Don't tell me 0. Anything divided by itself is 1. 4 divided by 4 is 1. x divided by x is 1. Anything divided by itself is 1. So there is a 1 left over. Double check yourself. When you go back and distribute this, when you distribute this, you should get the same thing you started with. 4xy cubed times 2xy is 8x to the 4th, y to the 4th. I'm sorry, x squared. 8x squared, y to the 4th, and that's what we have. This times 1 is just that, okay? And we still have over 2y cubed, okay? Now we are ready to cancel. Okay, we can cancel now because all of this is multiplied to this parentheses. This means 4 times x times y cubed times this parentheses. Okay, this is all multiplied. So we can cancel this with this because it's all multiplied. 2 goes into 4 2 times. There's no x's to cancel, but we can cancel our y cubed with our y cubed. So in the numerator, we have 2x times 2xy plus, plus 1 and there's no denominator. That just becomes a denominator of one, or you can multiply it out to be four x squared y plus two x. I don't remember which form the book has your answer in, but either answer is acceptable.